Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to Healing Guys Tarot. This is going to be for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And we're going to tap into your person's energy. What are they currently up to? What are their thoughts about you? And what are their feelings? And what possible action might they take towards you? Okay, Pisces. Let's see what we have here. Okay, so it looks like this person might offer you something here. They're thinking about this, um, that they want to come back around. They want a commitment with you. But they're, when they offer you something, they're only going to offer you a little bit. Because when I see this card here this in this particular deck, it feels like someone has more than they're showing. They're like not showing you everything they, they have or everything they're willing to give you. They're going to test the waters. Because they want to bring this back around. Okay. What is their thoughts about you? Okay. So we have Scorpio energy here. This is something that ended... And they want to bring something back around. This is death, but it's also death and rebirth, transformation. Their thoughts are they have a lot of love for you. They has got the king of cups. They have a lot of love. But something was sneaky here. Their thoughts were either you did something sneaky or they did something sneaky. Someone's not trusting someone. Or maybe they feel you don't trust them. But there's something, their thoughts are somebody's not trusting here. It's high deceit. Okay, what are their feelings towards you? Yeah, the Scorpio Pisces Cancer. Scorpio. Let's see. Okay, they want to come towards you as being very financially stable and competent and reliable. They're they want to leave something behind to come towards you. And they're still they're trying to figure out if they want to put the work in. They this is what they want, but they know they're gonna have to put a lot of work into it. And they're trying to think about whether they want to invest in this. We have two sevens and an eight that way. Hmm. Sevens are also very spiritual. And they're also learning. <clears throat> Let's see, what action might they take towards you? You know, they see you as their wish fulfillment, the nine of cups. They want to make an offer, but they're afraid of rejection. They're afraid of getting hurt. They're, they suffered through this um, breakup. And they're afraid that this they might get hurt again. But th they want this. This is what they want to do. They want to have, they want to make an offer. There's just something stopping them. Okay, we do have the ten of coins here. They do see this as a long-term commitment. They like to invest in this. They're just a little scared here. Okay, let's start clarifying. Why do we have the Four of Pentacles here for what's going on in their life? The Devil. Capricorn Energy. Now this sort of puts a different little twist on it. They, this one person might be very stingy and obsessed with money. Very, I get, I'm getting greed. With the devil with the four of pentacles like that, I'm getting, they're very greedy. Now, that's not going to be for everyone. But presently, they might be feeling that way. They might be holding on to their money, not sharing. What about this four of wands? Oh, look at this. They definitely want this. Look. Four of Wands with the Four of Wands. They want a deep, they want a serious commitment. They want to get married or they want to live, live together. What about the Judgment card? Okay, so an ending. So I think they had to end something in order to come back around to you. So presently they're working on that. 
the main focus is for them is this commitment. But they're dealing with something here. Either they're dealing with someone that's very greedy and very materialistic or it's them. But there's an ending here because of this judgment. Something's coming out. I feel like something's getting exposed with the judgment card. So I was putting an ending here. Okay, so that changed it a little bit. Let's see, what about the Scorpio energy here for their thoughts about you? They got the Six of Pentacles. They want to, um, they want to give to this situation. They fear they have to balance things out with you. There was something that and maybe this ended. Maybe they were kind of greedy or, or stingy or something like that, materialistic in the past, and now they know it's to come towards that. Probably put it, might have ended this relationship. So now they have to give to this relationship. Maybe you were the one doing everything and they were just taking. Whichever way it resonates with you. Okay, now we have this is a king, right? Yeah, King of Cups. Okay, why do we have the King of Cups here? Okay, they're putting something in motion here. They're they're trying to get a way to um they're thinking about you're thinking about you a lot. Think about what they can do to um make this move forward. What I, I really want to know about this seven of swords here. Why is the seven of swords here? Their thoughts. Oh, King of Wands. Man, there could have been a person that came between you that was an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or maybe a boss. Someone very creative. Someone very um, sexy, appealing. There's some, maybe this person, yeah, maybe the person deceive you somehow sexually or... Um, yeah, it's very, a lot of passion here. Somehow there's some kind of something going on with passion here. There's someone did something that was not right as far as passion. So what about this? So far we have one, two, three kings. Okay, what about this king of pentacles for their feelings for you? Yeah, they're afraid of being abandoned here. They have, they want, like, the King of Pentacles is very stable and reliable. They don't want to be thrown out in, in the cold here. They want to be discarded. What about this Eight of Cups? Yeah, they're, they want to come, they're leaving something behind to come towards you, but they're trying to figure out which way to do it, how, how to approach you. There's a couple of different ways of doing it. So they're trying to make up their mind which way to do this. They need to make a decision here. What about this Seven of Pentacles? Yeah, they dream about you. That, and they think about this a lot, about how to work things out with you, putting the work into here. What about this Four of Cups for the possible action? Whoa. Yeah. Gemini energy, trying to decide something, trying to make a, a decision. This is a choice. How to do this is what I'm feeling. I just keep on feeling like they, they're going to do it. It's just how to do this. Because they see you as their their lover, their their divine counterpart. Okay, what about this Three of Swords? Okay, yeah, they've been through a lot here. They've been through the battle. And it hurt. Going through this again, they want to make sure if they do this, they do this right. They want, it feels like, when I see this card, I always feel like they're staking their claim. They they want to stake their claim on you. It's, it's a, that's horrible, but that's why I feel with this Three of Swords here. They want to just, you know, make their presence known and, and maybe I should really say just tell you how they feel. That they're willing, oh my God, what a headache. Oh. I wonder if someone watching this is getting a headache. I just got like a pain. It's almost like a, a third eye opening pain. It's like a sharp pain right in the middle of my forehead. Is someone um, trying to open up their third eye? Because, whoa, I just felt it. Wow. Okay. Now let's see. And we have nine, nine. Let's see. Nine of Pentacles. Why is the nine of Pentacles here? Whoa, yes. 
you complete them is what I got, I got told that they feel like they want this to come back around you or their wish fulfillment they want to have another chance with you um, that they're ending things to come together with you they're they're putting things behind them to come towards you and they do have a lot of love for you got the king of cups here again that scorpio cancer pisces doesn't have to be but that's the energy of the card of the person coming towards you let's see what else we get here see world again hangman seeing things in different perspective type pisces energy that's your your energy so they're they're seeing things different they might even be seeing things the way you see things when they didn't before it's i i know they will get that but i'm seeing like you're they're seeing things through your eyes and they're trying to figure it out because they don't want you to cut them out they don't want you to be the queen of swords or you could be dealing with a queen of swords but i don't think so i think this the way they feel about you because i feel this one's looking at this one and saying hey i want this i want this world I got the world here world here they want another chance with you but they don't want to um they had they had to wait and really think about this try to figure things out they're seeing things in new perspective i really do think they're seeing things through your eyes <clears throat> because they don't want you to to reject them <clears throat> they want to talk to come here goes my throat yeah no some more cards here yeah they sleep they can't sleep at night they think about this how they can approach you make an offer here because they love you they have this ace of cups for you a lot of love here their heart is beaming with love here it's overflowing this cup but they 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 are getting help from spirit because here with this um all these blackbirds the spirits coming in and you know chasing them away chasing them away from your dreams or their dreams but they are going to come in with an offer here. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn you could be dealing with. I'm going to do one more set and then we're going to pull out the signs that you might be dealing with. We'll close this off. Let's see. Whoa. They want to work on this. They see you as their happiness. This is Leo. This is the Empress is um, Taurus or Libra. And then, you know, they see you as someone that could be their mother to their children their father to their children someone that's very creative someone that is someone even at work this could be someone they mean you know at work they know that you can produce whatever you want here you're very fertile because you got the empress next to a work card here so it could be someone they know from work a lot of happiness here though you make them happy and they see that they can really grow something amazing with you put the work in together and look we have the high priestess very spiritual very connected um, I think they see you as very very intuitive and you guys might even meet on the fifth dimension here they might feel that strong spiritual connection with you okay let's see what sign could you be dealing with now this could also be with other people involved in your life too that are coming up too that might have something to do with this relationship somehow connected let's see Libra Taurus, Gemini, Pisces, Taurus again, and Sagittarius. Someone could have double placement in Taurus, or it could just be a good deal with two Taurus. All right, guys, I hope you liked this reading. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I hope to see you again real soon.